Hey guys! Today our topic is Concrete Spalling and Repairing Process of Spalling of Concrete. So move toward our today's topic. Concrete Spalling Spalling concrete is a common problem where part of the surface peels, breaks, or chips away, also known as scaling, as a result of a weakened surface that is susceptible to damage to the spalled concrete. It may be caused by a freeze-thaw cycle, or the icing salts. It affects a wide variety of structures, including framed buildings, multi-story car parks, bridges, jetties, tanks, and buns by leaving the surface of the concrete patchy and pitted while exposing the aggregate underneath. As soon as spalling is observed, it must be properly cured. Otherwise it compromises the solid surface integrity and endangers the ultimate capacity of the member repairing process of spalling of concrete concrete spalling repair varies relying on the severity of the damage type and location of the concrete construction this should be done on the basis of recommendations of applicable codes clean spalled concrete area remove loose concrete clean and coating corroded steel bars apply repair material mixture finishing curing Apply paint or coat on repaired surface. Clean spalled concrete area. Clean the area. To be repaired. By any dye to eliminate. Bond breaker agents. And if heavy stains. And dirt build up. A pressure washer may be required. To clean the surface properly. Remove loose concrete. Using a hammer and chisel. Remove loose. And broken concrete. From the area. Sometimes. Proper surface preparation may require. Shot blasting. Or grinding. And to make a successful repair, it is recommended to remove the concrete about 3.81 cm deep. It is advisable to tap the surrounding area firmly with a hammer to check for possible deterioration. A hollow sound is a sign of corroded concrete, and it should be eliminated, as this prevents the need for future repair of concrete spalling. It is recommended to cut the rectangular portion of the concrete so that patching can take place and the concrete can be mixed within the designated area. Finally, eliminate dust and debris using a vacuum. Clean and coating corroded steel bars. Clean the rebar from rust or different dirt using a wire brush. Then apply a protecting coating to keep away from rust. As illustrated, apply repair material mixture, strengthening the affected surface and applying an appropriate adhesion agent to improve bonding. The most commonly recommended patching material is Portland cement based or epoxy. It is necessary to select patching materials with thermal expansion close to the existing concrete. Consider the ambient temperature throughout patching because it impacts the patching materials. The ambient temperature will probably be above 4.5 degrees centigrade. Damage on the driveway, walkway, and other horizontal surfaces may be repaired with a cement overlay. If the affected areas are contiguous to the joint concrete spalling, ensure that it is properly restored so that some allowance may be made for the expansion of the member. Finishing using a margin trowel, scrape off the surplus product and apply to complete the surface. Curing ensure the fabric adequately that it acquires the required strength. Apply paint or coat on repaired surface once the material is fully set. Then apply paint to the waterproofing membrane to avoid reorientation of spalling. If you enjoyed our today's video, then like and share our today's video and subscribe our channel.